today we're actually going to get started okay so I'm just going to try and fit everything onto my paper first so I'm going to grab a green pastel and see where I'm going to put what so I'm just going to try and fit this thing right most important thing for me right now is that road this is not a good color because you can't see what I'm doing that's better so first thing I want to try and fit on is the road. I put on as little pastel as possible, so maybe using the tips is better, so you don't fill the paper unnecessarily. So here's my road. It looks a little bit big. I we'll have to make that a little bit smaller. And the road sort of falls at a third. And then there's this green area over here, this lighter area another green area where this fields are a little bump oh it's not going to fit is it okay start again <laughs> sky maybe we should just measure it's about half so halfway bump bump is that green bit so hop okay and that goes all the way till there so, green, dark, little house is somewhere there, green. And then all of this is also half, so halfway we get the top of the hills. Like this. So I'm just trying to simplify these shapes. And from here till there, you've got this. So that's that, so that stubby tree bump here is there. And all of this road stuff happens in this area here. Okay, I hope you can still see what I'm doing. I can just about, but it's getting a bit confusing, so I might have to block in a little bit. So here's the tree stubby thing the hill behind it and then the sky and then the road is like that but it's really small isn't it it's a scale exercise so then here we get trees 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 and they come down here and then here we've got these tree trunks and the house road this is a bit of a vague area too keen on this I wonder how I'm gonna solve it it looks really flat and boring there's not much variety in it the trees are not cut off at the right level so this area might become problematic and there's another bit of tree here um, road here which might be fun to put in to give it a bit of a breakage and all that greenery we'll see and oh, no, it goes up quite large right I think it fits so I'm going to block it in with some lights and darks. So I'm going to use a lighter green. So there's light here. There. A little bit of light there. There's yellow light here. So this is like a colour value blocking. Now that is too, too yellow. It needs to be quite bright. That's over there. And we we'll get some light over there. And light over there. And we get a sliver over here. And a slightly darker green. Is this too dark? Yes. Well, I don't have anything else I'd have to do. blob there and that goes up there I really don't like that green have we got anything better no I guess it's the same yep <laughs> so we can make it blue maybe so this is all dark that's all dark Blue and yellow doesn't 
always make green. See that? Okay, and then we get a really bright one, a light blue or grey up there. focusing on this little blob of trees because I find it a good focal point. That's also sort of where the road leads to, isn't it? So the road goes like that, and like that, and here as well. This is this light green area. hops from tree to tree to this area over here and then we have a road again oh, wrong color and here we've got dark green trees oh this is going to be interesting okay so this is my lock in pretty much. I know it's not super clear but I hope you can see what I'm doing. We've got a road here. A bit of road there. I'll try to make it a little bit clearer for you. <laughs> My little house is here. It's not irrelevant but I just like it. And um, that's some yellow areas over here and there's a green fields here and it goes I need to make that a little bit taller I think so I can now step back and think about whether this is going to work or not just putting in some lighter areas there uh, top of these bushes because I'm really unsure about this area am I going to make it look good I'm really not sure you can see the light hitting the trees from this side okay I think that is enough for day one so I urge you to basically do the same thing which is a, a quite a lot what we've done today um, we've figured out our composition um, with the use of some thumbnail sketches, with the use of the computer, we tried, you know, to get the right composition, to get the right crop. And the next thing we've done is to try and get it onto our paper to make sure it all fits, see where the interesting bits are, figure out where the problem areas might be. And tomorrow we can continue to try and refine this and see how far we get. So. I hope you can follow suit. Like I said, I know it's a lot, but let's get this thing started properly. And um, I look forward to seeing what you come up with later today. Have fun. Mm -hmm.